rush hour in Pittsburgh to cities around the world. The biggest difference is the bicycles. You can see them there. Mayor Bill Peduto wants to see more bikes on our roads. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Bob Mayo with the plan to get you on two wheels instead of four. This green lane in Bloomfield marks where bicyclists like this one and drivers can safely share the road. It's already a big part of life in other parts of the world. Mayor Peduto thinks it has a place here. This video shows how bicycling, even to and from work during rush hour, is a part of life in Denmark. On those streets, during an international conference last week, yes, that's Pittsburgh's Mayor Bill Peduto there, in a trip paid for by the national group People for Bikes. During the week, I biked uh, somewhere between 60 to 70 miles. This winter video shows how in Copenhagen, a lot commute by bike, even on cold, snowy, slushy days. We showed the video to Pittsburghers in Market Square. Are our roads like big enough for that capacity of biking? I mean, I think it would be a really neat way and another way to like get around the city and avoid traffic, but I don't know. <laughs> it looks a little dangerous, but I guess if people are willing to take the risk, it, you know, there are definitely benefits. Perito's committed to making our city more bike friendly, creating more bike lanes. Can that work in Pittsburgh? Well, not to the, the to the degree of Copenhagen or Amsterdam. Those are you know the the model systems, and they've built out infrastructure over 40 years. But what was important is it took a first step at one point. We met local cyclists who say it's doable now. There's good, nice level pathways all through the city that people could use to get at least to most of the major neighborhoods. There are some neighborhoods you're going to have to climb up a hill, and maybe that's not for everybody. Some people are skeptical, even wary. I wouldn't want that at any expense to the motor vehicles or people's private individual rights to do anything as far as operating a motor vehicle. The mayor sees it as one of many means of transportation that will be part of Pittsburgh's future. We've seen the city change over 40 years, dramatically change. And what we want to start doing is putting in the infrastructure now that will be able to build those types of models. Bicyclists will have a dedicated lane in downtown Pittsburgh through the Cultural District in time for a big bicycle conference here this fall. In Bloomfield, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.